When are we gonna charge into Futaba's room? There's no point thinking it over now. I mean, we have 25 days to do it, but I see where you're coming from. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. All right, bro. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between. So make sure you're ready beforehand. I've already upgraded our equipment, so there's no need to worry about that. How's it going, geeks? Welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. Last time, we finally made it to the end of the Great Corridor, only to be stopped by another door. This one being completely different. This one being Futaba's own door that we have seen. Meaning we can't do anything in there until we change her cognition out here. Let's get into it. Are you sure we're ready to go? Once Futaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight into her palace. Is that okay? Hell yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Oh, so you're set on doing this? Hell yeah, it's about time. Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even boss has forbidden entry. Well, we'll just be honest. Tell the truth of why we're there. Yes, that is the best course of action. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. <laughs> An eyeball? What's this? Huh. When did it get on here? Whoa! Who are you? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? If so, I will kill them in your world. I... what should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. It's for the greater good, honestly. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Same do not enter sign. Ooh, that's actually kind of creepy. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging. Just answer us. Oh, here we go. You should have told me you were going to just come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared. You have to do this, Alibaba. It's easy for you to say. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other me? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. Ten seconds. That's too short. At least minutes, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. All right, I'll open it now. 
We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. Ooh. All right, let's go in. Uh, kind of creepy, guys. All right. Oh, what is this? It's medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. These are all technical books. Yeah, seems like our Alibaba's pretty knowledgeable. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? I mean, it's messy, but sometimes a messy workspace can be kind of helpful. Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? Ugh. The closet? She'll shut herself into the bitter end. Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this makes no sense. Explain yourselves. Whoa, she talked. Nice voice. We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? Has she understood it? Maybe she's been studying cognitive science. Well, why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. I definitely understand that. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Whoa. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive science. Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? We're not gonna hurt you, kid. She's not answering. Yo. Maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so, you know. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! <laughs> it's weird to hear that coming out of your mouth, but I agree. What are you doing? Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? Um, you're pushing it. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My mom was the one who killed her was possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. She's blocked out all memories, deeming them all as negative. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. It's just that I went through a lot myself, and I... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! Whoa! <laughs> What's gotten into you all of a sudden? <laughs> come on, hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. God, you're shaking like a leaf in the frickin' fall. I see. She went back in! 
<laughs> Excuse me? What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Um, guys, what should we do? Why are you even asking? Of course you can't come with us. <laughs> I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? All right. Let's get going, guys. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. All right. Futaba. Make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> I'm going to die. Futaba Sakura is now fully aware of our presence. Good. Ah! Kitty, you again? Well, that was one thing or another, but at least we should finally be able to move on. Palace infiltration time! The security level is so high, I can feel it from all the way out here. Hmm? Futaba seemed totally up for getting her heart stolen. What's up with this? Something about this place really is unusual. Either way, there's only one thing for us to do now that we've sent the calling card. Yeah. Hell yeah! No matter what we gotta face, we're gonna take that treasure for sure. You know it, baby! <laughs> To the Corridor Summit! <laughs> oh, I always get so pumped for doing this! Now, because of this fight, I am saving here. Which means, no matter what happens, I can't get a redo on this recording. Let's go! <laughs> this is the door that's been blocking our entry! I hope she read the calling card. I mean, after all the trouble we went through, she damn well better read it. There we go, baby! Yeah. Alright, it's open! Hell yeah! Futaba shot open the door herself! Nice! Uh, anyway, the treasure's up ahead. Let's finish this. Oh, I forgot to put on On! She is the one that's holding the crystal, after all. It only seems fair. This is a elevator of sorts. Up into, wow. So this is the place that represents Futaba's room. Yep, this is the heart of a hacker, all right. Anyway, where's the treasure? This way. I'm getting a strong signal from above us. The treasure is definitely manifested. There's no knowing what my lie ahead. So let's be vigilant as we push towards the treasure. Yeah. That was a big freaking shock to me! That entire pyramid! Oh! 
I should say, this is the chamber of emptiness! <laughs> that entire freaking pyramid, those past chambers in the crate, crate corridor, those chambers in the great corridor were nothing but boss's house! Now we're actually in Futaba's stinking room! Oh my god! This is not going to be easy. Not by a long shot. But, I believe there are some things for us if we are to do... Uh, let's see. Oh! Swing point! Swing point! Baby! <laughs> Look at me go! This is a massive shortcut towards the treasure, allowing you to skip all of this. And honestly, I welcome it! There's no doubt about it. The treasure is right past this point. What may await us within? No matter what it is, we need to be ready for it. Let's do this, gang! Yes. We're coming to save you, Fataba chan If I use this, I can change my heart? Vocal input. Fu. Fu. Futaba Sakura. Sojiro Sakura's house. And then something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Not again. Here, I I messaged Tomb in the chat and input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now. No, you're a murderer. You're the one who killed her. Don't come near me. Your fault. I can't take this anymore. Beginning navigation. Huh. <sighs> Well, this ain't what I was imagining. This place is very green. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. That? Oh. That's it? The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. All right. Be careful. T treasure! Mona? There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Whoa! That light. <laughs> what the? Is this the shadow? No. Then. It's not for Taba. Don't tell me. <laughs> Whoa! This entire place is crumbling! This is insane! What the hell?! If it's not a shadow, then what is it? It's a cognition! A monster that Futaba's cognition created! How can that be? Hey, look out! Whoa! I got you! Option. We cannot strike this thing with our base melee weapon attack. We've got no choice but to shoot at it. Which means, well, once our gun ammo is out, we're done. <laughs> this thing, it looks like a griffin. Like, actually. 
Oh, fucking great. That wind blast causes dizzy. We're doing some decent damage, but it's not really that much. <laughs> and now I'm out of ammo, meaning I'm forced to use my skills. But I'm only going to use light ones. You'll see why in a moment. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I do want a bleeding drive rush, just just in case. Because, woohoo boy! And rapid as. Oh, come on! Target it while it does so, so all I'm gonna do is guard. That's literally all I'm gonna do because, well, Sphinx dive! What? No fucking way! That's so bad! No, 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 no. That is actually so bad. We took so much damage. If it wasn't for my freaking bleeding dry brush strategy, I'd be dead. This isn't good. I can't tell at all when it's going to attack. You can't tell. Mona, you've got to tell us. I can't help it. There are some things that even I can't do. So this is inside my heart. I didn't think it'd be like this. Huh? Do you remember? This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after mom died. That's correct. Look at the next one. jumped in front of that car that's right now the next no don't run i thought you made your mind up after you talked to the phantom thieves okay i'll look it's me complaining mom scolded me for bothering her yes i knew it it was me who killed mom I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died. I whined about wanting to go on a family trip. But she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what did you do? I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Uh, did she say, my research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? Oh, what? She smiled. This is not good. The hell? We ain't doing shit to it. <sighs> huh? Futaba? The hell are you doing here, kid? You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... Wouldn't the palace ruler lose control? Don't you say 
something. It's your fault. It's my fault. It's my fault that Mom... monster her mother <laughs> Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her the wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well along with those eerie jeers She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. <laughs> Because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? Futaba-chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! It's just an illusion you created! B but She never abused you, did she? Boss told us! He said she did her best to raise you alone! Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? You made your mother destroy all her research, Futaba-chan. She had worked so hard on this well. She lost her mind. And it's all because of you. It's your fault! Mom, I... It's her shadow! Futaba-sakura, remember! You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart. Get mad. Don't forgive those rotten adults. It's because I couldn't face myself. Poor mom's death. Even then, why did they have to yell at me like that? <sighs> Utaba-chan? Looks like you're doing better. What denies you is an illusion, a curse put upon you by the heartless. You knew from the very beginning, and yet, you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I... It's all your fault. in your own soul. It's your fault. And I won't let those distorted lies 
eyes deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them!
I'm speechless. I'm dizzy. I'm all around whacked in the head. <laughs> I have been waiting for this moment for so, so long. <laughs> I have been wanting to have. I have been hinting at this the entire time. Just say the word. Those will seeds we collected are not Futabas. They're the cognitive Wakabas. <laughs> now that the fight has actually begun, I'm using my medium skills, as well as bleeding dry brush, which is why I have Yusuke out here in the first place. <laughs> Futaba is a navigator! She's not your traditional fighter, even though she, she's got a persona! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that brings her down! You got it, Futala! Let's move! <laughs> You're dizzy! You're attacked by Nakanek! <laughs> Futaba! Oh my god, I love her! I love her so much! <laughs> oh my god, I'm lightheaded, I can't! <laughs> She is one of the characters that I actually don't hate before joining up. I mean, seriously. I hated Yusuke before he turned into Fox. I hated Makoto before she turned into Queen. But Futaba? I never hated her one second! I never hated this kid. At all! Because this entire palace is a freaking inner battle. Hell, all of these palaces are inner battles, but this one is a true inner battle. And boy, I'm gonna help my girl win it! <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> I don't think anyone could understand just how happy I am at this. Oh my god, imagine a defense down on this thing. Oh, I need to do that. <laughs> well, she's back up, unfortunately. Which means more battling. This dreadful scream inflicts despair, but my detox removes it! <laughs> You've tried hard, and I'll give you that. <laughs> but, bitch, you're done! <laughs> Listen, I love my mama, but if this was how I saw her, I'd beat the crap out of it too! This is so wrong. The way that people have manipulated Futaba into, like, this just, this inner depressive spiral. I just, I can't speak enough justice on this. I just can't. Why are you slamming the cat twice? Jeez, that's mean. Take side damage. <laughs> I... Oh, there's not much I can say because I'm basically just spouting the same nonsense again. So let me talk about this freaking fight. I love the fact that your physical attacks do literally nothing. The only type of physical attacks that can actually hit are the... Oh. Oh. Um, okay, so I was wrong. 
any physical attack, whether it be from your weapon or a skill, is useless, as it will never hit. <laughs> I'm using the entire freaking element table on this bitch, and she's not dying! Well, I mean, she's dying very, very slow. But I think it would be even slower without the defense drop. I mean, look at her health go down! <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. Being able to beat up on the person that caused Futaba so much pain! Oh dear. Oh, thank god I blocked physical. Oh yeah! Now it's payback time! You know it is, kiddo! Freaking electrifying! Uh, let's see, that would be this Meteorama! Man, that's a really good healing skill. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought I got rid of that! I thought I got rid of my dizziness, hold on. Oh, I'm out. I'm out of freaking di Damn! I just have to hope that I overcome it. And that's defense back to the way it used to be. Great! And since I'm di- No! Fuck. This is stupid! She's making use of my weakness! How dare you! That's my weakness! No one can make use of it! Which means I plan on teaching you a little bit of a lesson with PRINCIPALITY! The last time I took this fucker out, I was dead. <laughs> Which means I need to be very careful, because holy crap, I don't want to die again. <laughs> There's not really much I can say about this fight, since we're just doing this over and over, so I'm gonna cut until something interesting happens. Oh, this is something. Um, so, Futaba is acting as a navigator right now. Which means Mona can be dead on the floor. Before, Mona would hop into the back because he was the navigator. Can you tell what Futaba's position is? <laughs> God, could you take your damn wings, shove them in your mouth, and shut up?
straight in the frickin' side! Ouch! Okay, that must have hurt. Don't worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head. I've got a cat that can deal with that. <laughs> Wakaba is done, I tell ya. Actually freaking done. This cognitive bitch has done nothing but torment Futaba for years. So you know what? I'm going to repay the favor and ruin her. <laughs> Let's get a nice cross slash on this bitch. <laughs> Lucky Punch should be a very fitting end. It's not the end. You're going in flames, bitch! Come on, what's gonna end this woman? I'm putting you on ice! Come on! Why won't she die? Fine. This will be the end of it! God, <laughs> you've got nothing left. We're taking Futaba away from your corrupted ass. about this type of battle, it never stays away for long. Well, that was... Wow! Is that everyone? That's everyone with a level up! Jesus! Okay! I leveled up. <laughs> oh my god! That's a lot! And that's the final skill for Izanagi Picaro, which I'm not even gonna need. <laughs> oh my god! That's Elect Break for Captain Kid, which I don't want. That's ooh, medium fire damage to all foes. Give that to me. <laughs> Futaba. You all right, kid? Damn, you're freaking incredible. Whoa, what in the world? Ooh, it's totally skin tight. Another thing showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba, thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Mom! Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. <sighs> oh, right. Majed. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nap now. Oh, oh. right. Seeming pretty nonchalant about this whole thing. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Yeah. I kind of like her. I like your one to talk. <laughs> but if we have her on our side... Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. 
Yeah. It's empty? Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> it was her sense of self-worth! Oh my god! I just... Shoot. This is bad. Uh, I, I can focus on epiphanies later! What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. Let's book it, gang! Down this pyramid! I wasn't saying literally! We have the death, people! Shit! Stupid! Shut that cat on! We need the bucket! Let's freaking move! I hate sand! I hate sand! <laughs> Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? Oh, right, Dr. Kelly! You do. Can you contact them? I can, yeah. A house call is gonna cost you, you know. Uh, it's, it's fine. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Tell us, Doc. Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. Hmm. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. It's best that he knows, at the very least, that she's out cold. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? Wait, you're saying... Uh... Oh... Uh, curse my stupid indenturement! Let's go! Mm, I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. Is it? I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, 
Futaba? Hey! Oh, dear. Uh, um, about Futaba. Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm going to go close the store. All right. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. I mean, I'm happy she's okay, but wow. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay, but what are we gonna do about Medjet? Yeah, that's gonna be a big issue without our lead hacker. <sighs> she's up! Mm, Medjet. <sighs> Tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. <sighs> she fell asleep again? Jeez! Either this girl is extremely lazy, or she's narcoleptic! Futaba-chan? For a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up, either. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. I guess that's all we gotta do. Just what's Majet gonna do? It's hard for me to even fathom what it could be. People have already been up in arms about the whole cleanse thing. But to think a global hacker group would be targeting us. Should we just ignore them? We have to act on this. It'll hurt our reputation. People will hate us. Sure, but no matter how you look at it, we need a counter Our best bet would be Alibaba. But she may not be in a capable state of it in her current, capable of it in her current state. I guess we should think of other ways too. Then, yes, it would be best to have as many solutions as possible. Well, we still got time, so let's come up with something good, okay? Mm -hmm. The chief is with her. I'm sure everything will be okay. Now we just gotta wait for Futaba to wake up. That we do. That we do. I'm gonna get a massage from Kawakami in between episodes, and next time on Persona 5 Royale, I don't know what we're doing. This is kind of like a day-to-day -day basis here. See you guys then.